Education, the door for the future, the door for teacher future. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Professor. Today, I will present my final project. And this project will show you what I learned since I've been here in the Go Teacher program at Valparaiso University. I would like to talk about my, uh, the five critical concepts that I chose. I chose the phases of the teaching learning process, present model, natural order hypothesis, big and calf, and classroom ecology. But I would like to talk about just the three phases of the teaching learning process. The three phases of, of the teaching learning process are activation, connection, and affirmation. In the activation part, the teacher has to connect the new information with the student's prior knowledge and experiences. In this way, the, the, the process could be better. In the connection part, as it is said, according to the short term memory, the brain has just 30 seconds to internalize information or the information is gone. So for that reason, it must be relevant. And finally, I have here the last phase of the teaching learning process that is affirmation. In this part, the students can show what they learn. They can show everything they learned during the lesson. And they have here the opportunity to show off with their classmates because they like when they know something, they want to show it. So they can show here what they know. Um, so this is the part that I consider that is important for me and so in this way, my lesson plan is based on the three phases of the teaching learning process. And I would like to, to talk about my lesson plan. My lesson plan has, a, it's based on the, in the Ecuadorian English book. I chose the unit number three, book number two. And the, the strategy that I would like to use is the foldable. I have here, um, like, how the foldable does uh, look like. So in this, this is uh, the students, uh, they are gonna work with this. And this uh, strategy provides them the opportunity to, to practice new vocabulary, new concepts, and also they can keep this like a study guide that it's really nice for them. And my lesson plan will be based for, uh, will be, um, do for uh, students of night grain in Ecuador, and my, the profile is based on my students in Ecuador. So now I would like to to perform the um, the class. Okay. So good morning, students. How are you today? Uh, actually, I don't look like you. You don't look like fine. Okay, let's stand up. And you have to stretch, 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 yeah. Okay, now you are gonna touch your partner's ear. Your partner's ear, your partner's ear. Okay, yeah, very good. You are gonna hug your partner. Okay, very good. Okay, now you are gonna make groups of three. Three. Okay, very good. Okay, now you're gonna do groups of four. And one or five. Okay, so, okay, sit down with the groups that you are now. Four. Okay, sit down in the groups that you are now. Okay, I, I have, I need, Patricia, I need just one here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so do you remember that yesterday you were learning about preposition of location? Yeah. Okay, very good. So today we are gonna continue and I would like to remember you um, the prepositions, where is it? <laughs> the prepositions of location. Okay, so I will review the prepositions. The, the ball, it's 
on the box. Okay, Paula, could you tell me where is the ball? On the box. Very good. Okay, the ball is in the box. Anita, can you tell me where is the ball? The ball is in the box. Very good. Okay, the ball is in front of the box. Rosalia, can you tell me where is the ball? The ball is in front of the box. Very good. Okay, the ball is above the box. Lorena, can you tell me where is the ball? The ball is above the box. Very good. And it fell down. And the ball is under the table. Do you know, uh, the, Dalila, where is the ball? The ball is under the table. Okay, very good. Now that you remember the proposition of place, you will... We will practice, okay? We will practice here and you will show, you, show me if you keep that information. Preposition, can you face here, please? Okay, prepositions, terms of place, of location, sorry. Okay, so I would like to give you this bird. You're going to stick this bird according to my instruction. Okay, Paola, could you stick this bird in the tree? Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, Marlo, could you help me with the mix? Could you stick this bird? Above the tree? Above the tree? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you try it again? Can you repeat, please? Can you put the bird above the tree? Above. Oh, again. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, guys. That's a good activity for you practicing. Now, that you take out your foldables, please. Okay, very good. So, I will give you, in the groups that you are, you're gonna, you're gonna have uh, come up with one definition of each preposition that you already learned in the last class. So, I have here a sticky note, and you have to write, as a group, you have to write your own, defini your own definition. Okay, so you have to you have to agree with the definitions. Okay, okay. So please share with your classmate what do you think the word means according to what we learned yesterday and what we practice today. You can write your own definition in the group. You have just five minutes for doing this activity. Do you have any questions, maybe? It's clear? So you have to discuss. You have to discuss in the group. Okay. You have to come up with one definition in the group. Yeah, you have to discuss your, your definition. You have to agree with the definition. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, did you finish? Did you finish? Okay, do you have any questions? No. Okay, very good, very good. Do you have any questions, students? No, that's clear. Okay, so let's come up and, okay. So now that you discuss your definition, you will write in this part of the foldable, in the third column that it said my definition, you will write here your own definition. After we practiced yesterday, we practiced today, we wrote the definition, now you are going to write your own definition here in this part for each preposition, okay? So in this, in the third column, you will write the 
your definition. You have five minutes for this activity. Okay? Do you have questions? No. Okay. Okay, time's up. Okay, time's up. Let's check what you have. Anita, can you read one example? Yes. I choose in front of something is uh, an object. A person is in front of the other thing. Person. Okay, very good. Okay, it's okay. Now I would like you to check your fold double again. If you have here, in this part, in the third column, you have to have your prediction. Do you have that? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. In the second column, you, you have to have what you learned, the definition or examples that we learned yesterday, okay? And in the last column, you have to have your own definition. Do you have that? Okay, so you have to keep the foldable for the next class or for the um, test that we will have the next week. Okay, this is your help for the quiz, okay? Okay, that, that was the strategy that I, I liked. So as a conclusion, I would like to say that I learned many things here in the Go Teacher programs that, that make me grow personally and professionally. There are many activities and there are many strategies that help us to improve our teaching learning process and to teach our students in a meaningful and relevant way. For that reason, I would like to incorporate many of these strategies and activities in Ecuador when I go back there. I'll go back there. Thank you so much.